Okay, we have returned to another problem from the Berkeley Math Tournament 2022, number one. We have the limit as n's going to infinity of the integral from 1 to n, natural log x over n, ln n, dx. Okay, I actually know two ways to do it, so I'll do two videos, I think. To get started with it, we just want to notice that this piece right here, this is going to be a constant that can come out front of the integral. And when I do it, let me write it a special way to save a little time. So we're going to do this, but I'm not just going to, I could, I could write it out front like this and just do it that way. But instead, we're going to create it as a fraction like this. The reason for writing it this way is if we notice first the behavior in the denominator, this is clearly just evaluating this limit. This is clearly going to infinity. And then looking at the numerator, whenever we have natural log x, if it's going off to infinity, that's going to diverge. So we can think of the numerator as going to infinity as well. So what we have here is an indeterminate form taking the limit. So we can use L'Hopital's rule in this case, evaluate the limit taking the derivative of each of these. So doing that first, when we take the derivative with the fundamental theorem of calculus, it's going to be just like evaluating it at n natural log of one zero. So we're not worried about that part. So we're just going to basically plug in a one. And what's going to happen is we end up here with natural log of n over then the derivative of the denominator with respect to n, it's going to be product rule. So first derivative of n's one. So we get natural log n plus n derivative of natural log n one over n. But of course, n is going to cancel with one over n. And this is going to be just a one right here. But when we evaluate this limit, this one is not really going to be doing anything compared to this is going to be going off to infinity, this is going to be going off to infinity. So we can just kind of quickly evaluate this limit. And this is going to be my final solution of just one. And that's it. So in my other method, I did it without L'Hopital's rule. And it was a little bit longer, I suppose, because we had to, because in that other case, we went ahead and just integrated natural log x, because it's an integral we can do. But what you end up with that way is a slightly more complicated expression here, and hence it takes a few extra steps. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.